Hello my friends, today I wanted to show off something that I only just recently found out about and I am really excited to give a little bit of a test run to. This is Command and Conquer General's Evolution. Now, for those of you who've been in the RTS scene for a while, Command and Conquer General's is a fan favorite game. Uh, people think that it is one of the better Command and Conquer's that have ever come out. However, it is old, like really, really, really old. And the engine is just not that good. It doesn't play super well anymore, which is unfortunate because a lot of the units and the ideas and all that stuff are a ton of fun. Now, this is a mod for Red Alert 3 that is a complete faction integration into the game. Like, it's trying to make a, a li I believe it's a slightly modded version of Command & Conquer Generals put into the Red Alert 3 engine. Uh, it's tweaked a little bit to make sure that things work within the confines of what we have here, but this is a much more modern engine. Came out in 2008. It's a little bit worse than the StarCraft engine, but it's actually pretty solid. And as a result, I want to give it a little bit of a test. This is currently only, uh, what is it called? Uh, 0.3 is the mod version for it. So it is a fairly recent mod, all things considered. It is not complete. It doesn't have a campaign or anything. It only has versus mode and uh, online skirmish. But oh, <laughs> as you can see, as you can see, it is a mod <laughs> and it's still under construction. We can, uh, let's just pick them. Yeah, let's go for a four player map. Uh, let's get some hard enemies in. And I just realized that if I don't have names, I don't remember any of the factions. I believe blue is America. And aircraft is aircraft. Okay, I can figure out what this one is. We're going to play American aircraft. Let's give this a go. I... Did I press load? Uh, let's give this a go. All right, as you can see, once we actually get into the game, things work. If you have played any Red Alert 3 or if you've played any Command & Conquer Generals, you'll be like, wow. This looks like a combination of Red Alert 3 and Command & Conquer Generals, doesn't it? Darn straight it is. Let's get a Patriot missile system. So the enemies spawn top right, bottom left, bottom right. Let's just see if we can build some Patriot missile systems in order to uh, protect ourselves a little bit. And then because we're playing America, we're going to go for that air power because that's what we do in America. We make those really expensive jets and then they die to anti-aircraft stuff because I'm bad at this game. Oh, and then we have our uh, Spear of a Dune top bar Select that was invented target. long before. So we can start scanning our enemies with our first ability to see what's going on. This is actually, okay. So all I did before this was pop in to make sure that I could get OBS working and stuff. This is actually really impressive. Already, it just looks and it feels Upgrade like generals. <laughs> Obviously, there's a couple differences, like I have little truck guys doing my resources instead of helicopters, Building. which is how it works in generals. However, I uh, just, I assume that is a limitation of the Red Alert 3 engine. Oh gosh, we're under attack already. We're getting wrecked. Uh, do we build another Patriot missile system to kill one guy? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, gotta make sure that we're not taking too much damage. Now, there are some resource nodes we can go harvest over here or down here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure which one we want to do. Also, we have some upgrades with a beautiful upgrade menu that is looking fantastic. Do we want stealth fighters? Do we want spy drones? Uh, if we're going aircraft, let's go aircraft, right? Yeah. Stealth fighter. Stealth while moving. Strong versus enemy base defenses. Weak versus enemy fighters. Sounds good to me. Let's get some. Uh. Okay, so these are not very... Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure what they're firing at. <laughs> well, I mean, as I said, it's in beta. Let's uh grab... Oh, we need a strategy center, right? Because for resources, the Americans have this really wonky ability where they don't really need to expand after a while, do they? Slippery target. All right, we're going to take this stealth... Oh my gosh, it's a VTOL! Cool. We're going to take this and go on a bombing raid. See what damage we can... Oh, don't... No, 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 no. Okay, we got away. We got away. We're fine. We did some damage to their cold fusion reactor. Let's see if we can take their power out. 
I want to kill this guy because he was mean to me and he sent one infantry to attack me, which means that I'm going to destroy his entire family. Oh, we can get particle cannons. To oh my gosh. I love Command and Conquer in theory. Oh, what happened to you, buddy? But in practice, I find a lot of Command and Conquer games uh, frustrating to play. So, or particularly because they're so aged at this point. So I'm actually really excited to play this because I would love to have a game that is one of my favorite RTSs from my childhood, just a really well-designed thing with a lot of interesting units in a modern engine. We're going to get veterancy at twice the rate. And then we're going to start getting drop zones. So drop zones are a uh, American-specific thing where a plane comes and just drops free resources to you every two minutes. I don't remember how much it is, but I remember as a kid I really liked it. And it means that we can just keep fighting instead of expanding. Let's uh, fire some of these, see how it goes. Oh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, our stealth fighters, they managed to dodge. I don't think the enemies are out of power yet, but we can refill our bombs and give it another go. And then the particle cannon? We're not ready for that yet. We need a cold fusion center. Most definitely we need some more power. It says it takes 100. What are they doing? I'm not sure. That upgrade's going, this upgrade's going. If you've never played Command & Conquer, the way that it works is we are about to die. I hope that these do like area damage. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. That's a lot of pressure and we don't have a whole lot of stuff going on yet. Let's see if we can get a war factory out so we can build some tanks. And then we need to just send these guys to bombard what they can. Yeah, just bomb him. Blast him. These don't take a whole lot of damage. Let's activate a repair. And hope. Oh gosh, they're so mean. They're such cruel people. How could they have done this? Activate. Another cold fusion reactor. We got our bombs. Let's go on another raid. Now, one thing I'm scared about is this is a four-player mission, remember? There's four of us here. So if the enemy over here decides to get a little bit angry with me, there's not a whole lot I can do right now. I'm going to reload this guy. Send him on a bombing run. And how about you start targeting here? You start targeting here. The lack of area damage is really killer. Uh, we got the war factory down. Can we build anything that is anti... Humvees are anti-infantry. We'll grab some of those. And you know what? Let's get another drop zone. Why not? I think we're going to hold. We just need to keep sending the waves of stealth bombers to take them out. These are stealth fighters, I know. To keep hitting everything. And keep building more static defense. Uh, I guess I'm building that. I don't really know what the difference is. Okay, careful with the Humvee. They got a lot of rocket guys. Pull them back. Ooh, big damage. We don't have any infantry to garrison, unfortunately, which is... Causing these Humvees to be a little bit worse. They're kind of like mobile bunker units. And they're just getting shredded as soon as they come out because of this infantry aggression. We got another upgrade here. Airstrike. Uh, yeah, let's send some A-10 Warhogs in. Okay, we just hold them here. That's not mine, is it? Oh, they're pair dropping more, guys. Where's this A-10? Oh, there they are. Go, go, go. No, but they missed. Oh, it was too slow. Okay, let's, uh, maybe a Tomahawk cruise missile. Maybe just hit him from afar. That's kind of what we're doing here is we're doing the air raid. They're super rushing us. We're going to get some more of these, and maybe we could get a repair out and a barracks. I should have just gone for barracks in the first place, but I really just wanted these air units. Oh, no. And that canceled my Tomahawks. Microwave. I don't know what all these things are. I'm not remembering them. I guess we got to build Humvees. Okay, these guys. Keep bombing. Keep bombing. Oh, why'd they fire at that guy all over there? Oh, wait, we can build helicopters. Okay, yeah. Helicopters would be good. Why have I not been building those? For some reason, I w in my head, I was like, these are... This uh, airport is saturated. We can only have four aircraft. No, you can build helicopters, of course. We're going to hold. Patriot missile system, do your thing. 
I got a lot of money. So, uh... There we go. I need to try to split up the damage these are doing. I know it's not much to infantry. But any sort of way of splitting it up would be good. And they're starting to go down. This Comanche... I think he's stealthed. That's why he's called Stealth Comanche, of course. But I think that that means the enemy just cannot see him. I don't know what the... Detection... What you gotta do to detect. I think you have to be close enough. Oh, but he gained a lot of veterancy, and he's doing okay now. I think we've held. Let's see if we can do a counterattack with these stealth fighters. Grab a... Oh, we need a strategy center back. They destroyed it, those jerks. Alright, we're gonna counterattack them. See if we can run a raid on their power plants. Oh, turn around, turn around. Bomb them. Get out of there. Taking a little bit of heat from their anti-air. But they all survived. These stealth bombers have gotten a lot of value. Despite being not like area damage dealers, they're still doing pretty well. Very careful with these guys. And we got another level up. Let's just keep leveling up our airstrike. Seems pretty good. Like, if we can just hit their critical infrastructure with our our back stuff while we get a bunch of helicopters in the front, maybe that's our plan to hold them off. Counterattack until victory. Send a lot of Humvees now. Take down their Harvester. Oh, what is that? That is a F-22 Raptor trying to come and intercept me. That's a bit spooky because we don't have any anti-air. What we can grab is a particle cannon. We can grab another reactor, upgrade this one with the cold fusion upgrade. And ooh, stealth fighter missiles deal damage to garrison troops. 25% more damage seems good. Oh, Comanches become stealth. We need that as an upgrade. That's why they didn't look stealth. I was a little bit confused on that one, but I was just trusting the game. Turns out I need to, uh, I need to learn how to read. <laughs> it's okay. Things are going... Things are going alright. There was a lot of damage in the early stages, but we're getting there. Oh, they're throwing some major damage on these, though. I'm gonna throw a scout over here, just see what's happening. This is the GLA. They have much lower tech than we do. But they're still pretty scary. Let's bomb their airport and just get out of there. We're sending the F-22 Raptor... But I'm not a balloon, so I don't know why they did that. Interesting. Oh, uh, what was that that just died? I built something there, and I don't remember what it was. Oh, well. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Let's build another supply drop zone. And we can send in a Thunderbolt raid. Let's do it right on over here. And then bring these guys to assist and see if we can take down their air force. Remember, if you don't have an airfield to land at, then you cannot... Use your aircraft. There we go. This is looking pretty good. We just make sure that we are keeping things going. Let's get another particle cannon. They are my ultimate weapon. You can see in the bottom over here where their cooldown is. And then we can just keep hitting them from the side. Tear them apart. They've really run out of momentum with that attack. They were pretty all in there. They're building some stack defense on the edges and stuff, but eh, there's not much they can do. Let's take down their final harvester, maybe. And then we have to retreat home, but I'm going to take a circuitous route. I think I used that word correctly. Circuitous? Circuitous? Circu I've only read it before. <laughs> but you got to try to use, use new words, right? That you've never... Otherwise, your vocabulary is always going to be bad. Uh, Yeah, circuitous route. All right, this is being repaired up. We're probably ready. Oh, here's another attack. And then we can start working on another enemy. They had a lot of guys inside of that Humvee. A lot of rocket guys I didn't see. And unfortunately, I am actually out of power. Uh, Wait, I don't want to build that there. Well, this control rods upgrade is going to finish soon. Whatever, let's build another one of these. <laughs> Airstrike level three? Why not? Let's go. Let's keep teching down to the Moab. The mother of all bombs. Now, an interesting thing to think about is back when this game was made, Command and Conquer Generals, 
the Moab was like a theoretical bomb in development, I believe. Okay, we gotta get another one of these. But now it's actually something that's been used, and like this uh, stealth fighter, I believe, is an F-22 Nighthawk, I think that's what it's called, which was like top of the line when this game came out, and now it's like a meme, It's I think it's retired, isn't it? It's like bad, <laughs> which is really interesting because you don't think of video games being so dated with technology a lot of the time, particularly military technology. But it's really fascinating to me that as time goes on, you're playing with these cool high-tech weapons that were, were that were uh, retired ten years ago, and yet it's still really fun. Air raids, just hitting the opponent from the side, slowly peeling them apart, that sort of thing. What a fun play style it is that you can't do in a lot of other games because of the way that aircraft work. No one else is bold enough to allow you to be so quick and nimble with aircraft. Or so bad at supply or energy blocking yourself on particle <laughs> cannons. I'm just gonna keep getting static defense and let's keep moving. Now I'm thinking that I can go eliminate this guy. We're gonna come right in from this angle, keep taking their power generators offline. And I believe that there's a little indicator on it if we truly run them out of power. And then we'll be able to move in and engage this. Ah, they might just not have enough power requirements at this point. So we're going to take down their command center. They're going to do their final little attack. A lot of paratroopers coming out. Oh, did they kill my stealth fighter? They did, those jerk fighters. But unfortunately, they just don't have the ability to do it with my helicopters. They're taking all their stuff down. Player number one is going to be out of this. Just keep building <laughs> static defense. Got their position. And maybe some drop zones. So every other faction in this game would have to keep expanding to some extent. They all have a way to make free money, but none of them are as powerful as the drop zone. And the drop zone is just this eventually infinite power money generation thing. As long as the aircraft that come to drop it are not knocked out by anti-air. Which is why I'm trying to keep all this air control, yes, right? That's why I want to target things like their air bases first. Make sure that they cannot shoot down the guys. Oh, I guess that's not how it works in this game. They just uh, create a trickle of money over time. Well, that's, uh, that's a little bit sad. I hope that's the thing. Remember, this is in very early version. This is just version 0.3. So, I'm hoping that as time goes on, they'll be able to implement... Usually, it's planes that fly over and drop tons of money, but they have to cross the map sometimes. And when they have to cross the map, if they get shot down, you don't get it. And that's kind of the dynamic that goes with it. I hope they bring in something like that, because it's really cool. Now, we can start building a bunch of airfields after this, and that should allow me to be the king of the skies. Hypersonic Aurora. Hypersonic attack makes Aurora immune to enemy fire. Speed reduced by 50% after attacking. Strong versus building. Yeah, let's try it. Hey, little ground support. And then we got the Moab. The mother of all bombs. Visibility clear. Let's do this. We're going to send our little raiding team over. Oh, wait, we don't even need to do that. We have our spy satellite. So we can spy over here. Check how things are going. Drop the mother of all... No, we're going to send a... A-10 Warthog raiding party to take out their air defenses, and then we're going to drop a MOAB right here. Here comes my first call down. Six of them. Fire the rockets. Take these guys out. Easy, easy. And then we have a particle cannon that we can fire right here. Oh, that looks cool. Look at that. That looks amazing. Oh. Ooh, I like that a lot. Oh, this is good game, guys. Oh, that looked fantastic. Okay, we're going to keep the pressure on. We're going to take these guys down and... Oh, is that another Raptor? So it does appear that there's an American player over to the side. Uh, there are three factions with uh, three generals apiece in this game. There are is the GLA, which is a uh, what's the polite way to call it? 
I don't know what the polite way to call it is. But they, uh... A resistance force, I guess, is how you would call it. An insurgency. There we go. That's the word. How good is this bomber? Does he get shot down? Dodge, dodge, dodge! Oh, he dodged. Ooh, he's good. There are the uh, Chinese who have some amazing, like, ground-based forces. And then there's America, who's more about the flying stuff and the special experimental weapons. And all of them are really fun. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to fire a beam here and a beam here and take down what we can. Can I grab this? Yeah, I can grab it and I can move it the direction I want. <laughs> That's so good. Mm. I really, that feels, to me, it feels way better than like the purifier beam. So the purifier beam is, you know, that... Uh, it's really big laser, but I think that the smaller size of... Where are the rockets come from there? I think the smaller sized makes it feel like a little bit more personal. I don't know, but I really like that laser. It is a good laser. I'm glad that we have him as a friend. Oh, let's go take down this raptor. And I think that these two had just been battering each other so much that neither had anything left. So we are going to be able to clean up these guys and take a little bit of a win. So guys, if you're interested in this mod and you want to play it, it is available on ModDB. I'm going to put a link in the description so that you can grab it and play it yourself because it is a ton of fun. As you saw earlier... Ooh, can we... Uh... Okay, we can take top tier stuff still. Let's uh, use our Spear Verdun top bar to drop that. Launch the fuel air bomb. Oh, they're coming. I'm banking so much money because I just got distracted by having fun. Send in the B-52. Okay, well, it didn't have as big of a radius as I thought it was going to. <laughs> oh, man. I don't even care. I'm having a ball. This is a really fun mod. Unfortunately, no campaign or anything like that. Just skirmish stuff. Um, No menu. <laughs> Just the word victorious on pink. <laughs> it's all pink, baby. So for anyone who's ever wondering, the reason that they use pink in uh, things that are in development is that you can't miss it. Right? So these are incomplete assets that will eventually be changed into things that are like properly working and functioning. And if you make it a hot pink color, you will never be able to like accidentally glance at it and not notice it's unfinished. So game developers use it quite a bit. It is a really fascinating thing. If you've ever stumbled upon it before, that is the reason why. All right, guys. Whoa, this used to, <laughs> it used to have a background. I guess it doesn't anymore. Either way. Command and Conquer General's Evolution. It's on ModDB. You have to own Red Alert 3 to play this. So because it is played through the Red Alert 3 engine. You install it. It's a mod for Red Alert 3, effectively. And it's a really fun one. Because uh, I thought Red Alert 3's unit design was like, it was okay, but it wasn't my favorite. And I think that General's is a little bit old and outdated, but the engine for Red Alert 3 is still really fun to play in. And as a result, I had a really good time, and I'm probably going to play more of this on my own. I want to I wanna go, maybe go some tank commander for the Chinese guys, because I remember them being amazing. They're so good. Oh, there's so much awesome stuff you can do. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you soon. Peace.